Mini Gay, welcome back to the channel. You already know what you read by the title. What I will be doing today, y'all. So I'm not too hyped only because it is currently where's my phone? It is currently 7. I don't know if y'all can see 7 22 in the morning, but as y'all see earlier in the clip, I was up at six o'clock um i got up because i love y'all i done i'm dedicating my life to y'all okay and i'm up because we're about to go try some breakfast food sorry y'all i got a bag of ice with me that's only because this morning as i was getting ready i i don't know if y'all could see but why my camera never like the fuck okay there you go if you see these little lines in my hands i burnt myself this morning y'all i burnt myself I burned myself, okay? It's not focusing on me. Focus on me. I burned myself this morning, y'all. And that's when I was curling my hair, trying to get my hair together. I ended up burning myself with the flat iron. Oh my God, it's the worst pain ever right now. But I'ma thug it out, I'ma deal with it, and I'ma just hold on to this bag of ice until it's cooled down. But y'all, I am about to leave my house to go, you know, get some of these little breakfasts. So today's breakfast, I'm gonna be ordering things on the menu that I never ate before, okay? Things that I don't usually get. First of all, I'm not even a breakfast person. So this is this this challenge is out of pocket for me because I'm not even a breakfast person. I don't even like eating breakfast food all the time. Like I eat it sometimes, but not all the time. Maybe once a month, twice a month, but but this right here, nah. So y'all, uh, luckily I haven't ate any breakfast food this month. I always like get up and try and go straight to junk food or go straight to some you know lunch food, not no breakfast food. But that's currently what I am doing. Oh no, not my glasses. Oh, not my glasses. But yes, that's currently what I'm about to do, y'all. So we about to go ahead and, you know, get into this video, y'all. We about to head to our first place. I probably got a couple places down. I think I'm going to go to, I think I'm going to go to Wendy's. I'm going to go to Burger King. I'm going to go to McDonald's. If it's a Burger King over here. I'm going to go to McDonald's. I'm going to go to Taco Bell and maybe Chick-fil-A. If it's not a Burger King, I'll go to Chick-fil-A. But if it is Burger King, then... You know, I ain't going to Chick-fil-A. Because everybody knows Chick-fil-A breakfast is good. I mean, it's chicken. Chicken, chicken, chicken is good. Chicken. But y'all, I'm about to head to Wendy's first. Because that's the first place that I want to try. It is currently raining. So I'm out in the rain for you guys. Oh my God. Because I love y'all so much. <laughs> but y'all, yes, it's currently raining. It's supposed to rain like 80%. was well, finna start with 60. Then it's gonna go to 70. Then 80. And then it's gonna stop. Hopefully it don't even get to that point. But y'all, we about to get ready to leave the crib, go get some food. I'll see y'all when I get to Wendy's. Before I even take off, I'm sitting here thinking like, how am I about to drive? I do everything with my right hand. Literally everything. So I have to try to do it with this because I take the ice off my hand, gonna be burning to death. Like burning like hell. Like it's gonna be burning. And I can't, I don't know. I, I don't even know how I'm going to fuck shit today. Like, after this video, I'm just probably going to go to bed for the rest of the day. Because how how am I going to work for myself without my right hand? I do everything with my right hand. <sighs> oh my god, y'all. As I'm driving, I noticed that my tag is officially expired. I hope I don't get pulled over. Like, it is currently, my tag expired on the 15th. It's the 70. So I don't need to be. I'm not trying to go to jail. I'm not trying to go to jail. So, y'all, don't mind if y'all hear my windshields going on because that's just, you know, my windshields. But, you guys, I'm at Wendy's. And tell me why I don't think they open. So, I think I drove here for no reason. Like, I don't think they even open. Like, let me, let me, let me check before I go crazy. Wendy's. Because I don't they serve breakfast, right? Like, I thought they serve. I thought Wendy's served breakfast food. Like, I really. Why is it so dark? Why is the light so dark? Oh my God, lightning is terrible today. But I could have sworn on Wendy's. Wendy's sold breakfast, so let me check. Oh, they is over. They is over. They open at six thirty a.m. But it's dark inside, so I don't. I don't understand why is it so dark. Let me turn this off. I don't understand why is it so dark. But it says it's open, so we we about to see. Like I'm at Wendy's. It. Oh, I I just missed the damn. I missed the turn for the drive through. 
this is just not getting well this morning y'all my hand is currently going down the pain but still burning let's see what would i like one second please mm. they got a hot honey chicken sandwich y'all like look at this wait look at this meat look at this meat i'm coming back later to try that but hmm let's see what i want Honey butter chicken biscuit. That sounds good. You have the sausage, egg, and cheese, which I haven't ever tried. I have a bacon, egg, and Swiss croissant. Oh no, I'm gonna try one of these biscuits. I don't know. I'm gonna try one of them. Maple bacon chicken croissant. That sounds good. I'm gonna get two. Hello? Huh? Um, can I get the bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit? Just the sandwich? And then, can I try the new hot honey chicken biscuit? The combo? Small, you know, large. A small. The drink, do you have orange juice? Yeah. Yes, I like orange I juice. Know. That'll be all. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I ordered like two foods. I was not supposed to do that. Yeah, I was not supposed to do that. I was not supposed to order 10 foods. I mean, I said 10, but two foods. I was not supposed to do that. <gasps> My camera's falling. My card. What? My card. Hey. My card. Card is here. Oh, no, 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 Okay. All right, you guys, so I'm back now. Don't mind the rain, please don't, but my hand is freaking burning. Oh my God, it's burning bad, it's burning bad. But I got my food, and we about to try this today. I bought two, so I don't know why I bought two sandwiches, but it just, the menu just looked good, so we just gonna try it. And the first thing is these potato wedges. I never had Wendy's potato wedges before, so we about to try them. Mmm, this is good. Mmm, 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 mmm. This is good, y'all. This is delicious. Potato wedges are delicious, but let me get a, you know, oh, sorry, I got the hiccups. Uh, let me get some orange juice, though, because my throat, ooh, hiccups, hold on. The hiccups might be going out, but y'all, that's it. That's that. The first thing I'm gonna try is the bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit only because I don't eat that, y'all. I don't eat no biscuits that has an egg on it. And then this one is like a, like, look at the, like, you guys, look at the egg. Like, who eat a, I don't, I don't eat this, y'all. So, this is gonna be my first time trying it. It's just cheese, egg. It's just cheese and egg. What a bacon. Oh my God, they played me. Where's the bacon? I asked for bacon, egg, and cheese. Now I only got cheese and egg. Gosh, but let me just try it anyway. I don't even know what side to bite off. I'm gonna bite from this side. The egg is not bad. Mmm. The egg is not bad, y'all. It's actually good. Wow. Wow, you guys. Like, this is actually good. I'm gonna try another bite. No, I don't need to eat too much because I ain't gonna eat my other food. Oh my god, the bacon, I mean, not the bacon, the egg is actually good. And I just got egg and cheese, even though I asked for bacon, egg, and cheese, but it's actually good. Mmm. The biscuit is fluffy. The cheese is good. The egg is cooked well done, not yolky. Like, you know, the little yolky, the slime stuff be falling out. It's cooked. And the biscuit is buttery and soft. So, I get, I, it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be, like, terrible, like, nasty, like, uh, but it's actually good. Like, actually good. So, I rate this, I rate this biscuit, I would say a, a, a eight. A eight. I was gonna say a 7.5, but no, a eight. 7.5 because they forgot my bacon. It would taste 10 times better with the bacon, but 7 point, I mean, not 7.8. Eight, for sure. 7, I mean, eight. Uh, eight, uh, eight, eight for sure for this one. And then let me go eat me another potato wedge because the potato wedge tastes just like fries. I like that potato wedge way better than fries. Like, Wendy's got some good potato wedge. Like, 
Seriously. Now let's try this hot honey chicken biscuit. Like, I love stuff that's hot. I like honey. And I like chicken. So you can't go wrong. So we about to try this biscuit. All right, hand, you gonna have to burn for a little minute. You know, my hand just gonna have to burn for a little minute. But let's see what this hot honey, hot honey chicken biscuit tastes like. Hold on. I wonder what makes it hot. It look, look like nothing on it. Just chicken in the damn biscuit. But we gonna see. We gonna taste it. I'm gonna bite it one more time. Wendy's, I'm very disappointed. That ain't no hot honey chicken biscuit. That just chicken in a biscuit. I don't taste no hot sauce. I don't taste no honey. All I taste is a buttery biscuit. The chicken ain't even tasty. I get that a six, five, a, a freaking five. It looked delicious, but it didn't even taste like nothing. Like, you just wasting my time. So overall, when did you go have to get a seven? Because you messed up on my hot honey chicken biscuit. Like, well, you didn't mess up. I guess that's just how you roll. Seven. Wendy's is a straight seven. Like, straight seven. All right, y'all. So in between this video, I'm going to be answering the questions that y'all asked me for the girl talk. I'm not going to make it a separate video because, like, why make it a separate video? You know, when I could just answer it right here. Make sure no cars are coming. So make sure I'm straight for the shot, okay? But, um, you guys, one of the questions that you guys asked me, like I said, I'm gonna be answering them in the middle of this video since, you know, we out and about until we get to my next destination, you know, why not? Why, why, might as well, just, you know? You guys, the first question that they asked me is like, what is like being a young, black, successful female business owner? Ooh, cause I do consider my YouTube channel is my business. Ooh. Focus on me, camera. Gee, me, I'm the focus. Gosh, focus. Okay. <sighs> you guys, I'm getting freaking frustrated because, like, everything just falling. And I don't like everything just falling. Like, my hand is burning. God dang on it. I'm trying to answer these questions for you guys, but my phone, I mean, my camera, want to keep falling and not focus on mommy. Focus on me. And sorry, you guys, if I keep looking to the side. It's because I'm looking at myself and my camera lens. I need to buy me a camera holder for my car. That's exactly what I need to invest into. A camera holder for my car. Literally. I need to invest into that. But y'all, like I said, what is it like being a young, black, successful female business owner? You guys, being a self-employed person, you know, you work for yourself and it is just hard regardless because you gotta keep yourself up. You gotta keep the business going. I take my YouTube channel very seriously. Um, I take it as, is it, I mean, it is my job. Like, it's my job and I take it very seriously. I care about what I put out. I care about a bunch of stuff, but how does it feel? What is it like? Um, um, it's a lot. It actually is a lot. It is a lot to keep up with. It's a lot to maintain, but you just got to deal with it. Hey. Oh! My camera wanna mess with me today. What is that? Is it hot? Is my camera hot? Okay. But yeah. Oh. I answer the question later. Alright, you guys. So back to what I was saying. When I, when I, before my camera kept falling and stuff, I, f I figured that it's best to answer the questions while I'm stopped. That, that's the best thing to do. But y'all, I figured that it said what it's like to be, what it's like to be a young black, uh, successful business owner. Um, I would say it's, it's very good, you know, working for yourself because you pick out your own times, you figure out your stuff, but it's also a lot and it's a lot that you got to deal with. But it's a good thing though, y'all. Like it's a good thing, you know, cause I mean, you your own boss, man. You're your own boss. You know, although being your own boss comes with a lot, you got this. You strong enough to do it. Cause if I'm strong enough to do it, you're strong enough to do it. Okay, y'all. But, um, far as being successful, I would say like I have reached like some success but I haven't reached 
the goal success that I'm waiting for. So, well, that I'm heading towards now. Not waiting for, I'm heading towards it now. Um, I haven't reached that success yet. So I wouldn't say I'm successful yet, but I received some success. To you guys, I may be successful, but to me, I ain't make it yet. I ain't at the top where I need to be at. You get what I'm saying? I haven't made it to the top where I need to be. But y'all, that's is that I hope that answer y'all questions the best way. I mean, I hope that answer y'all question. You know, the best way that I could. But y'all, now we are at Taco Bell. And I didn't know Taco Bell served breakfast. I heard they serve like breakfast burritos. So I'm about to see what kind of little breakfast burrito they got. And I'm about to get it. So yeah, we about to see what they talking about. And then I see it's getting a little brighter so my camera can focus now. My camera can focus now. It's getting a little, it's get, it got a little brighter. But let's see what breakfast burritos they got, first of all. First of all, they still got their lunch menu up. Like, why? Hello? I don't think nobody is at work. Hello? Okay. I don't think nobody is here, y'all. So we just gonna, you know, drive off. Because I don't think anybody is here. Well, nobody is in the front anyway. So, I guess we got to move forward. But the crazy thing is that I really wanted to try their breakfast burrito. So, toodles to that. Because I can't try it. Do, do, do KFC got breakfast? Because I'll get some breakfast from here. No, I ain't got a breakfast. I don't need to see no cars. And now I'm stuck. And this thing, this way say do not enter. I'm going to do it anyway. Sorry. All right, well, since they wasn't open and I couldn't try any breakfast, um, might as well answer another question, right? Okay, you guys asked, um, what is something that you have overcome in your relationship? Hmm, what is something that I overcome in my relationship? I would say, um, I would say communication when we are angry. And why I would say that is only because, um, usually, like, when I was younger, I wouldn't communicate, like, how I feel about certain things, but I feel like now I always communicate I always tell how I feel I always you know make it known like how I feel okay like you know even when I'm mad or when we mad at each other we both like talk it out I feel like a lot of people They'll wait to talk it out, but we talk it out right then and there. Like, we'll probably be mad for like a couple minutes, but we talk it out like literally right out the being mad. So, uh, one thing I have overcome, I would say, yeah, communication. Very much communicating on how we feel. Because me and Ted, if you do not know, if y'all didn't know, me and Ted is the same, you know, sign, zodiac, zodiac sign. So, we tend to do the same thing a little bit. We kind of like the same person. But other than that, yeah. Well, y'all just pulled up the Whataburger, though. Cause I know Whataburger have breakfast Even though I don't eat Whataburger Like who eat who eats Whataburger? Like, ugh. Like, ugh. I don't even want no more breakfast food, honestly. Like, Wendy's then then freaking did me out. I don't even want no more. I don't even I don't even want no more breakfast food. But I'ma do it for y'all, cuz. Especially and then I'm sitting here getting stuff that I don't usually eat. So I'm gonna pick something that I don't eat again. Just for y'all. Y'all I'ma try a breakfast burrito. I see something called a taquito with cheese when they have bacon sausage or potato bacon sausage or potato what or should i get a biscuit with egg and no i don't want that biscuit with bacon or sausage i'm gonna try a taquito because i don't even know what that is but i'm gonna just try hello can i get the taquito with cheese which one potato sausage or bacon um let's do bacon bacon yes just a taquito by itself just it by itself taquito taquito you guys i'm back and i have my taquito whatever it's called taquito 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 whatever and they gave me some picanta sauce what is picante picanta picanta sauce but y'all they gave me this taquito it stink it stink uh, ew ew y'all Ugh, I don't think I'm gonna like this. And it stinks. All right, you guys. So I have the thing, and it's just, it just, I don't know what's up with me today. I'm just burning my hand. I'm burning my hand all day today, I guess. Sorry if I keep looking to the side. I'm telling y'all, by camera thing, I'm looking at myself. I, I just can't help it. I, I, I can't. I can't help. I can't. I, I'm trying to tell myself, look at the lens E, look at the lens mini, but it's just not working. But I want to open it up to see. Okay, it's, it looks like it's just bacon and egg. 
in here. We about to try this. Uh, I think I'm bite from this side since the bacon is over here. I actually do like bacon, but I do not like people eggs and I don't like taquitos. So we about to try this breakfast burrito, okay? It stinks so bad. But here we go. One, two, three. Nah, that ain't good. That ain't that ain't good. Maybe I should try it with this sauce. Maybe I should try. It. Oh, it's salsa. Okay, it's salsa. Let let's I'm gonna try it with the with the sauce. Maybe it'll taste better. But right now it's giving a zero, a one. Let's try it with the ugh, and then it's falling apart. And my hand already burning. Come on, get on there. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. I got to get this taste out of my mouth. And I got to get this out of my car. Napkin, breeze. Napkin, napkin. I need a napkin. That's nasty, y'all. Orange juice. This orange juice just saved my life because that was disgusting. All right, y'all, so I told myself I wasn't gonna go to Chick-fil-A, but I did. I did only because I needed to get Ted some food. But y'all, I did. I made sure I ordered something that I never had before. So to compete with Wendy's, um, what I bought is I bought me a egg, a egg cheese, and chicken scramble. I never had this before, so I'm gonna try that. I also had um I bought a um a egg. I think it's just bacon, egg, and cheese. I don't know. I, I just know I bought a, a egg, cheese, whatever biscuit to go in competition with the Wendy's uh egg and cheese biscuit that I had. So we about to try that. First, before we even try, let's go ahead and answer another question. How do you deal with guilt um when you feeling guilty or something you just need to come clean i think like even if you're so scared like come clean about it i i i wouldn't really know how to really answer this question because i personally haven't dealt dealt with guilt in a long long time but during the times that i did deal with it back when i was younger i just had to come clean and say it like if i feel guilty i just i just had to come clean and, and just say it because the guilt would eat you alive so just come clean and say it's always best to just come clean and say it. even though trouble may come but sometimes it's just best to come clean and say it and if you don't you just gotta deal with the guilt you gotta overpower it then like you gotta figure out a way how you going to be able to balance yourself and you know overpower that guilt if you don't want to come clean about it or if you i i i I, don't, I, I, I really don't know, but this is just my honest opinion. Like, you either go come clean or you figure out how to overcome that guilt. Nine times out of ten, if you don't overcome it, it's most definitely going to take over take over you like literally it's going to take over you it's going to you know control you because it's going to always be in your head and the best way to get it out your head is if you like go ahead and talk about it with somebody or you know you know talk about it with somebody to get somebody advice on the situation it really all depends on the situation as well so that's what i would say how to deal with guilt but on to this food though you know on to this food because it's time to get to you know rating so like i said i'm gonna try the bacon egg and cheese biscuit first I did buy Ted some chicken minis, so that's for him. Ooh, cheesy, cheesy, uh, cheesy. Uh. <laughs> but let's see what this tastes like. Look like it's gonna be good. No cap, like Chick Fil A food always good. So we just go. We, I don't know. This egg smell funny, but we go try. I right, we go bite this way so I can taste everything. Oh, uh, we could bite this way. Cause it's a bacon down here. All right, this is for you, Wendy's. Cause right now you winding. But Chick Fil A, let's see what you're talking about. I don't want to take another bite of that. <laughs> I 
Um, Chick Fil A, I'm not feeling the egg. I'm not. I'm not feeling the egg. But the bacon kind of like chewing it with the bacon. The bacon overpower powers it. Um, but I'm. I'm. I'm personally, I'm not feeling the egg. So I eat the bacon by itself. But I'm not feeling that egg at Chick Fil A. The egg gotta go. I take Wendy's eggs over this egg. I don't, I don't like that egg. But I show eat this bacon though. Y'all really, I'm really, really full. But we got one more place to go. So far, we've been to Wendy's. Taco Bell was open. So we've been to Wendy's. We've been to Whataburger. And we've been to Chick Fil A. And now we gotta go to McDonald's for the last season finale. Okay. Um, let's try this uh bowl, chicken egg bowl. Hopefully the egg tastes better in this because it's scrambled. It look good. Yeah, it look good. Mmm. Well, let's see. Let's see. I need to buy some car wipes to uh, keep my little car clean because little mama is getting a little dirty in here. But let's try this. We'll go grab a piece of egg. We'll go grab a piece of chicken. And we go eat. Yep. Mm -mm. Chick fil A, the egg gotta go. Egg has to go. Oh, it had a hash brown in it too. Okay, let me try with the hash brown. It's got eggs and chicken on it, so let's try it. Okay. Okay. Egg's still nasty, but the hash brown most definitely overpowered. Egg is most definitely still nasty, but eat it with the hash brown, you scrape. It. So if you get this and you don't like them eggs, just eat it with a hash brown. Hash brown overpowered. Honestly, I throw some buffalo sauce off with all this and eat it up. I should've asked for that. I should've asked for dang on buffalo sauce. This would've made my day a spicy bowl. You get what I'm saying? But most definitely the chicken is good. You know, Chick-fil-A chicken just always good, but that's it for that. But the eggs, mm-mm. I ain't feeling the eggs. So far, the order I was saying, mm, should I put it in order by places or should I put it in order by the foods that I tasted? I think I'm gonna do by the food that I tasted. So I will say, out of everything, the breakfast bowl, the breakfast bowl tastes good. I just would like to eat it without the um without the uh eggs. So I would place the breakfast bowl number one for right now. Um uh, Wendy's egg and cheese biscuit, number two. Number three, I will say I eat the um the hot honey. Even no, nah, I I'm not putting that hot honey third. Bro, when did you play me with that? Well, I'm not even gonna do that. Um, third, I'm going to do, I guess, Chick fil A egg and cheese biscuit, Chick fil A egg, cheese, and bacon biscuit. I'm put that for third because now nah, I eat the hot honey chicken over that one because I don't really like that. Mm -mm. I don't like the texture of, mm -mm. yeah, I, I do the chick, the, um, not the Chick fil A, I do the Wendy's hot honey chicken for third, and then for fourth, I would do, um, I, then I do the little egg and cheese, you know, egg and cheese, Chick fil A, eggs, cheek, and bacon bis biscuit. I do that for, and for fifth, most definitely that taquito. That taquito was disgusting. I'm not eating that ever again. Like, it, and then I ate it with picanta. Picanta sauce. Nasty. But y'all, we finna go to our last little row, our last little round. Oh, let me go to another question before we even go. Let's see. Someone asks, this is a younger person, am I insecure? If I am, what are you insecure about? Because I'm insecure and I'm just wondering. Baby, don't ever be insecure about yourself, boo. You have to learn how to love yourself for you. Now, I'm not, now I am not insecure. Like, I'm not insecure at all. Uh, now at all. Like, I just love me. Me is me, period. Um, it's just always being a better me. Like y'all seeing the pictures. Every time I dress up, I still I'm I'm getting better every time. That's why I, I'm not insecure because I know each and every time I'm getting better. Now I used to be insecure, and one thing that I used to be insecure about was my nose because I used to get picked on back in school about my nose. Um, people used to joke on me uh, about my nose being so big. I was still cute, but my nose was just so, so huge, and I used to get picked on about my nose, and now I love my nose. I, like, I love my nose. Like, nobody can't tell me different about my nose. Like, my nose is my nose, boo. I don't care how big, how big my nostrils is, how big it poke out, or whatever. I love my nose, but that's the only thing I would say I ever been really insecure about. Or I used to think that I was ugly. Back in middle school and high school, I used to think I wasn't ugly. I used to think I was ugly and I wasn't good enough. So how you overcome that is you got to start loving yourself. Like loving every bit piece of yourself. Loving every bit of piece of yourself. And you know, just love yourself for you. You know, people come and go. People come and go. But you always got to love yourself put yourself first no put god first then put yourself you get what i'm saying but yes i love myself i learned how to love myself over time and now just look at me i'm just blossoming but you whoever asked me this question you don't feel insecure baby learn how to love yourself and once you love yourself can't nobody tell you nothing and that's on that <laughs> all right you guys so i'm back at home and last but certainly not least we have mac Dunks. 
Now, I'm back at home only because I didn't want to be out here. Like, I got tired of being in the car. Seriously, I really got tired of being in the car. And I was like, you know what? It's time to, you know, go home. And I could just finish this last one here at home, y'all. So, I am tired. I'm literally tired. I woke up at 6 this morning. I ain't tired. I want to lay back down. But we have a sausage. No, this ain't even no sausage. Hold on, y'all. Let me go get my phone. Ooh. All right, y'all, so another question we had, I think the last one I said, the last question that I asked was how you deal with guilt, and I told y'all how to do that. Um, Let's see, what other question do we have? All right, y'all, so a lot of these questions kind of tie in with each other. That's why I don't have so many, but another one was like how to be comfortable with, with who you are, and then I'm going to say this other one because it all ties in together. How do you show, how do you give yourself so much self-love? And someone asks, how do you have self-confidence? So y'all, like I said, it just all tied in together with the last question, not how do I deal, deal with guilt, but the, um, no, the last question, which was insecure. I think that was the last question, insecure. But um, like I said, all of that stuff ties in with each other. Like you have to figure, find yourself, love yourself, and be happy with yourself. Like just, be happy for you. So I feel like I, those three questions ties in with my last question. And this one that I'm going to answer. So I asked, how do you deal with mental mental health issues, mental health situations as a woman? Hmm, mental health. Everybody have like their mental breakdowns and stuff like that. And I feel like during those times, I mean, you just gotta have that breakdown and figure out how you're gonna overcome it. Just like I said the last time, like it, it's like all these questions ties in with each other, but how you deal with mental health is like, um, you have to start like accepting yourself for your wrongs, if that makes sense. Like accepting the bad things about yourself and figuring out what you can do better so you will not be back at that point in life. You get what I'm saying? So like when I have mental breakdowns, I, you know, I be down that day, but then I I also sit down, I'm like, okay, you know what? Can't nobody deal with this but me. How can I overcome this? How can I be better than this so I won't have to look back and be in the same position? So that's pretty much my answer with that question of how you deal with your mental health. Um, and then you gotta start doing things that's, that makes you more happy, like going out, like having fun. It's very important to like have fun and not be in the house and you know be happy and doing stuff that you like because if you don't do that, you will drain yourself out. You will be mentally messed up. You won't see no happiness, no nothing. Like you gotta do things that make you happy to deal with your mental state. Like literally, like females have to do stuff that make them happy. Not let somebody else, don't depend on somebody else to make you happy. You, you have to make yourself happy, okay? But y'all on to this food. We have a McDonald's bacon, egg, and cheese McGriddle. I got a lot of bacon, egg, and cheese today. So I hope I don't be passing gas. Like I have a lot of bacon, egg, and cheese today and Honestly, y'all, I don't like bake. Well, I like bacon. I don't like. I, I, I'm, I'm not feeling these eggs. The only eggs that I was feeling was Wendy's eggs. I'm not feeling these people eggs, bro. And I'm eating stuff that I don't usually eat, and it's just, it's just so nasty. But oh, this smell good. This smell good though. Hold on, y'all. This is a little mac griddle, bacon, egg, and cheese mac griddle, and this smell good. Focus on the burger. Focus on burger. It don't want to focus on the burger, but it smell real good. Like. It smell like it smell like pancake. It smell really good. It smell just like pancakes. We just go bite into this. The eggs sound gushy though. I don't know why I sound like that, but we go bite. Hmm. McDonald's cut up. Hold on now. I'm liking this. I like this. Hold on. Let me bite again. Hmm. I like this. Hold on. That right there is good. That right there was good. Now, I'm changing my whole order around. Hold on. Number one is most definitely this. Now, I'll go get that. I'll go get that. Even though the egg texture do taste like plastic, plastic, plasticky. Like the egg texture do taste like a little plasticky. But that, that, that was good. And I think it's because like the bread and the, you know, the syrup and the, the bacon good. The, mm, it, I get that. That's good. I'll put that one over the cheese bowl. The, what was that I had? 
No, I had number one that bowl, that the Chick Fil A bowl. Oh, baby, I go get this before that bowl. I, so for me, y'all, for the end of this video of what I like, most definitely number one is the McDonald's sausage, egg, and cheese. No, that one sausage, bacon, egg, and cheese McGriddle. Y'all go get that. That is actually good, good as hell, good as good as. Okay, yes, I like that. So number one is the McDonald's egg cheese and bacon mcgriddle y'all know for a fact i don't go and get this stuff because i can't even get the name right but mcdonald's number one number two would have to be the bowl the chicken bowl number three would have to be the oh number three no number two is no yeah number two is wendy's number two is wendy's hold on bacon egg and cheese bowl wendy's number two with that cheese and um that cheese and egg sandwich yeah even though i could have had bacon like bacon on it is bust period but number two is the wendy's number three is chick-fil-a but let me let me say it number one mad griddle number two uh the wendy's biscuit and cheese and egg <laughs> Uh, number three, we have um, the bowl, Chick-fil-A bowl, the chicken, egg, hash brown. Yeah, Chick-fil-A bowl. Third will be the, um, I did not like that. Third will gonna be, gonna have to be that hot honey chicken from Wendy's biscuit, hot honey chicken biscuit. Fourth will most definitely be Chick-fil-A uh, biscuit. That Chick-fil-A egg, bacon, and um, cheese biscuit. Yeah, I'll put that. I'm putting that for number five. And number six, taquito. So, if I'm going by the names, I went by the order of the foods. Now, if I'm going by the names, most definitely be McDonald's, then Wendy's, then Chick-fil-A, then Whataburger. That's how it's gonna go. So, that's it for this video, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Make sure you like, you comment, subscribe. Comment down below if you like this video. And stay tuned for the next video. I'm out, y'all. I'm about to go lay back down because I ain't gonna lie. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm about to go lay back down. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.